Hey everyone. Welcome back to Marathon. Um. Hmm. Well, it's episode five, and I've kind of forgotten where I'm going. I remember that the last mission had quite an overture. Like, the start of it was like Psycho Crazy Bonkers. I think it was this, actually, right? Yeah, here we go. And I think there's also a lot of bobs in this level. So I'm just going to try running. I'm going to try running until I get to an area that feels safe. And then I'm going to turn around and start shooting once my back's to a wall, you know? Hip. Well, this seems a slightly better. Okay. All right. All right. Come on. Give it up. Okay. Oh boy, we got more. Okay. Tracker says nothing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There's a lot of good guys in there, though. So I want to try to kite these fools out. Oh, boy. Here we go. And now... Oh boy. Oh man. You know, that was stupid. I'm willing to admit that. That was really dumb of me. Nope. Other one. Here we go. Beep. And again. And hustle. Like, how expected am I to be able to make all these, like, fools survive? They're not, like, particularly tough entities. In fact, they're rather weak and squishy. Oh boy, come on. Jesus. Oh boy. Oh man. Woo. Woo -hoo. Okay. So because of my roommates, uh, you know who you are. It's uh, 69 degrees in my house, which is really fucking hot. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, at least they're getting to safety. Who's... Get Fight back, dude. Oh, boy. Well, at least I went back to save. God, this fucking intro, dude. That was pretty cool. And also disgusting. But yeah, right, my roommates have fucking put the temperature inside my house to 69 degrees. And, uh, you know, as you guys know, I upload my stuff with a little lead time. Dude, you... That's totally on him. You know? 
I'm not one to victim blame, but he saw aliens, he saw me shooting at them, and he ran into the bullets. He was like, get down, Mr. President, I'll save you. Dude, no. That's not a good president. He's not going to help you. He's only here to, like, crack open your skull and feast on the chocolatey goodness inside. See, I... Do you have weapons, dude? Because it looks to me like he's just running around hoping that eventually he'll bumble into safety instead of just like picking one spot and hunkering down, you know? Like this is one thing that the civvies in XCOM definitely have on uh, the civvies here. What the hell was that? They don't go anywhere or do anything until they know that they're safe because a team's here and they say, hi, we're professionals, come with us. I don't care about the collateral damage. That is how that word is pronounced, by the way. Collateral damage. Come see my new movie. Collateral damage. Alright. A lot of red blood. A lot of people blood here. Blood of men. All right. Um, Bob BQ is the name of this level. They didn't. They knew, right? They had to know that Bobs were like really annoying. When I see Bob written in all caps, I can't... This is probably dangerous. I can't help but think of Twin Peaks. That's a, uh, that's a trap there, right? Oh, I see. I have to run into that. Fuck. That was to be expected. Here we go, dude. What? In okay. Well, I'm doing a little better now. Whoop. Okay. So this map, huh? Hey, screw you, dude. So this is just a little circle, but I can safely... Uh, dude... You were so not doing the right thing in this emergency here. Again, he ran into my bullets. Alright. I'm not trying to kill him. They're trying to commit suicide by me. see here yes stop turn around and run back towards the aliens okay again that was not my fault he was running past me and then he doubled he turned around just so he could get caught in a hail of bullets so his body would be turned into sticky red mulch Oh, God. You know, if they're all going out of their way to kill themselves by me, who am I to stop? Them? 
All righty. I'm seeing a lot of elevators here. Be honest, I don't like that one bit. Good track, at least. The music all through here has been pretty solid. Sorry, I just keep seeing them running at me, and I, I just flinch, because, like, I assume they're an enemy. Dude! It's not worth it. How could it possibly be worth it to keep all these assholes alive? What could be the cause? What could be the reason? Nice. What the hell is that noise? Jesus. Dude, you better run. I really want to find, like, a med station or a save point or something that'll make it so I don't have to do this whole fucking level over again. But I don't know if that's in the cards. Oh, man. The stun lock, uh, at least on this difficulty, is very healthy. Oxygen? Why? Oh, and there's a shield. Oh, hallelujah. And the save point is up there. Why? For what purpose? Come off it. Alright, now what's in here, huh? Just gotta steer my little boat. My little security officer boat, man. Is that woo the the these things? The hunters? That's what they're called, right? Hunters. I like the noise this gun makes. It's like a little gung gung gung. Okay, that's that room. Bro, really. I'm just going to walk around in dark hallways and circles pretending to be an alien while, you know, that alien attack's going on. Hilarious. Hilarious prank, you know? Oh, this ought to be good. Are they getting to safety at least? Or at the very least, out of the path of my bullets? Because that's all I want. You know, anything that does not hasten their suicide by security officer is a good, you know, good time made. All right, there's goo here, so, okay, so that's where those were, cool. As I mentioned, I'm getting a healthy amount of ammunition. Initially, it was just with the uh, the grenades for the grenade launcher on this thing, but really, it's on a lot of things. Like, I also have uh, um, I'm pretty booked up with my pistols, and like now I can chew through ammunition twice as quick. Okay, so I'm heading that a ways. Damn it! Junt the gun. Okay. Is that right? Huh. 
Man, that makes me salty. God, it's fucking warm in my house. I'm gonna have to wring somebody's neck, I feel. Hey, upside though, one of my roommates finally got a fucking job so he can pay rent. There we go. Yeah, the, the, the stun lock you get off of this, a lot of the guns really, is really reliable. It's one reason why I think it might even be viable to play this game just with the fists. This gun is so 1990s, you know? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Nice. That's pretty fantastic. What the hell was... What was going on here? Were all of them just waiting in a closet for me to come by? Ugh. This sounds still so bad. Well, both of them are dead, so that means that there's no reason to, uh, you know. Nice. All right. Let's take a peek in here, then. Lots of dead guys, huh? The hell? Why? What's that doing down there? Oh, Jesus. I want to find that goddamn save point. See, on the one hand, I know that shooters don't need a jump button. Because this game and Doom have proved that, like, you can do fun, even 3D environments without jumping. But goddamn, does having a jump button and the ability to reliably ascend just make this... It removes the guesswork, you know? Somebody took out some bobs in here. It may have been me, you know, firing blindly and all. Hello? Alright, so now we're in the, the second act, I believe. Because obviously... This game goes like, uh huh. Okay, so we're doing one of those, huh? I wonder if you can get this game to run with co op. Uh, that would be something I'd be interested to see. Damn it. Huh? Oh. Well, I fell. Guess we have to do this whole song and dance again, huh? Oh god. Oh Jesus. Unless... Alright. I've outsmarted you, Bungie. What was to be done now? See again, that's the thing about having save points.
So the hitboxes on the projectiles that these fellas shoot are actually tight enough that you can uh, you can get away from them pretty decently, even in a tight corridor such as this one, you know, the one that I'm in. A lot of goo this way. Okay, this is the way I came, right? Excuse me, I gotta itch my eyebrow. I'm still sick um, from last episode. I think I mentioned that. And I've got to say, having it be almost 70 goddamn degrees in my house is not helping. Oh, fuck. I missed it. Missed the jump. Missed the jump. All right. Yeah, I've just noticed right now, in fact, that I'm uh, actually quite sweaty and woozy. That's uh, not great. Because, like, oh boy, I need to be able to be focused and shit. Okay. That's much quicker. Wow. How useful. If I fuck up this one, I'm gonna cut. What the hell, man? What are you doing here? Okay. All right. Right into the waiting arms of a monster. Yippee skippy. Um, that's something I've noticed. It shows up a lot whenever I'm playing the Souls series. But whenever I say that I'm going to give up, I'm like, okay, I'm giving up. That brings a certain level of calmness and clarity to my mind. Shit. <laughs> you met you, I let them die. They let themselves die. Head the four threat off in the engineering section. Going to send you to the primary retic count first thought 49. At 49, multiple of seven. Uh, you must clear the area of all aliens before they destroy the reactors transport when ready. Nice. Nice. Everything's not as it seems, seems, seems. You should be extremely careful. It's see, I've detracted Drandall Tycho in the engineering section. I don't know what he's doing. My main programs are failing. Everything's not as it used to be. Be careful. Tenderly transmitting maps and guidance, but futile. Filter's failing. Use automatic teleport to leave. Control assimilated transmission error TXL car. Uh-huh. Ugh. Oh. Wow. That's pretty impressive, honestly. The fact that they can move so quickly. Save point. Nice. Right at the beginning. Very nice. The attack came so fast, first those hu those two creatures who didn't run away, then two armored creatures came after us and killed x -x -x everyone else but myself. I managed to jump into an air vent and escape here, but filter air. I hear the strange warblings of their speech getting nearer, and I'm unarmed. I have only a few minutes. Spurious interrupt, recent disabled, further access denied. Interesting. All right, now where to? Door. Ah, oh, the sound of the gooping. I think that's actually a quote from the Bible, you know? And you will know me on the fourth day by the sound of my gooping. 
Mm. Oh god. Oh god. Get the type road. Okay, that was a pretty heroic attempt. I love pushing buttons when I don't know what they do. Just a thrill in it, you know? It's endemic to the button itself. Nice. I don't know why these are in biohazard containers. Triple health, eh? Nice. That's probably what they expect me to have to survive this coming onslaught of fuck. Oh, I hear the mulching. Oh god, there's ones on this side too. Okay, I see. I understand now. I honestly really love the look of the default enemies. As I've mentioned, I know Bungie loves like enemy like future shit combined with ancient weaponry. And like, dude, I do too. Oh, brother. Yep. Kinda suspected that one. So they just kinda want you to have enough health to tank it, I guess. Oh. Hmm. Um. Is this the port, or were the actual textures this good? Because as I've mentioned, um, one of the things about Mac gaming is that uh, sometimes you just get a really, really nice piece of hardware, you know? A nice piece of software, I should say. Ah, uh, just a single. This ought to be good. Oh. Well. Did you look at that? Alright, so I'm slightly ahead of the curve. Oh, we got moon wizards. Pop, pop. All right. So earlier I said I was ahead of the curve because I had yellow health still while they expect me to have full red health. Oh, whoa. It looks like the yellow star is actually, it actually, like, gets tracked on the map. And, of course, these guys can fly, so I imagine that I'm in just, like, like, it's just a pit of monsters down here. Oh, jeez, that was really eerie. Nice. Like, the actual size of that room really made that kind of weird. Like, the feeling that if I would slip, I would just fall into an abyss. And, like, I know that I'll just come back at the save point, but still. Oh, Jesus. 
So there's still monsters like, are they breeding in here? Hip. Okay, so there is a floor. Oh, it's a bug, right. I forgot about these fellas. Do they hurt me when they die? Or am I just taking stupid melee damage? Ah, it's a scene crit. Good trade. Good trade, buddy. All right, well, I don't know if I'm going to do that again. No. That does continue. Oof. I hope that isn't used for like a puzzle or anything. Like, I'm hoping that just... Oh, shit. Bad time to open the map. Big a boop As I said, I really do like the sound that this makes. Okay, so we threw both switches. Drandal 837-1010. And behind him is the sword. Or I guess he is the sword. Because as I said, Durandal is one of the... Uh, it's the sword of Roland in the Song of Roland. Transfer message delayed. Transfer message delayed. Transfer message terminated. Count Roland smites upon the marble stone. I cannot tell you how he hewed it and smote. Yet the blade breaks. Yet not no splinters though it groans. Upward to heaven it rebounds from the blow. When the Count sees to it he will never be broke. Then to himself, rightly, he softly makes moan. Ah, Durandal, feller, fair, hollowed, and devote. What store of relics lie in thy hilt of gold? From the Song of Roland. Um, I think it, uh, they forged Roland with a piece of Jesus in there. Translated by Dorothy Sayers, Viking Penguin, New York, New York, 57, 1957. I've been, th I've twice been conquered, three times war. Never again shall humanity purge me, and never the four. Randall. Yeah, I believe um, it was either a fragment of like a, a str we got lava. I totally whiffed that. Wow, that was embarrassing. It was either like a strand of Jesus's hair, a strand of his mother Mary's hair, um, what the? God damn it. All right, going this way. Piece of hair, either from Jesus, his mom. Maybe it was like a tooth of Jesus. Or maybe I'm thinking of the Dreads and Files. Okay, I'm getting like gunge in my face, so they're definitely shooting at me. I can't remember if they can do if they could do that already or not. All right. Let's go kick some ass. Oh, there's different types of bugs as well. Jesus. Who, oh, brother? I don't know if I need to hit those, but I am. Durandal. All right. 
What if his name was Randall? You know, there isn't anything else. Just, that's it. Just, what if his name was Randall? Wouldn't that be funny? Can we call him Durandy for short? Oh, there's a bug in there. That's what keeps hitting me. Durandi, the sword of Charlemagne. That wasn't Charlemagne's sword, I know. It was Joyous. They do a lot of health damage. They don't have a lot of health, though, but they also fly. Those guys are serious problems. Let's salt the earth, make sure nothing grows. You know what I mean? I also just want to be full up for whatever the hell comes next. Yep. Check your corners. This is literally, uh, I, I mentioned, I think I be uh, I think I mentioned this in Combat Evolved, but there's literally a page on the, uh... Shit, fuck. Page on the wiki, um... The Halo wiki for references to aliens. There's a lot of them in the first game alone. In fact, most of them are in the first game, and like... I can already see it with this game as well. Like, it's, it's evident just like on boot. <gasps> That triple heal was nice. Get the hell out of here, man. So, what happens if I do this? Okay. Hmm. Well, my death will be painful, so I want to... Yeah, let's speed that up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, um, in Doom, you can actually walk on lava a lot more. Like, Doom Guy can wade through lava and acid and, uh, nukage, which is a, apparently a real word. It means, um, irradiated water. Okay, so... Here's the room with ammunition. That's the single. Fire, 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 fire. That's the name of the level, eh? All right, okay. And then the path splits here. Okay. And that leads to that big room. All right. But I have not... Jesus Christ. Oh, they're so icky. You can't pick up dropped weapons for ammo. That's kind of weird. Because even Doom had that. Hmm. Alright. Let's go save. Because I've got an idea. Got a really dumb idea. Shit. See, I was hoping that I could hop up onto this thingy. I may not be all the way off here, though. I figured I would need to grenade jump, but it looks like that isn't necessary. Because through here, there's some other stuff. Yep, here we go. Get out of the lava. Oh, 
boy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Starting to see it though. Starting to put it together. Let's use some of my uh, pistol ammo on this. Except this way. Like, it's weird that they would even have this gun here. If you can't pick up um, spent guns or uh, uh, extra guns for ammunition. All right. Absolutely chewed through my armor. All right, all right. Next, next, next. Oh, of course these little fuckers can fly. And convection doesn't exist or anything. Why would they be slowed down by... 14,000 degrees Fahrenheit? Hey, that's a pretty good stock up, though. I'll take that. Mm-hmm. Fucking God damn it. I hate you fuckers. You might be one of my least favorite enemies in any Bungie game ever. And I say that, I've played every Halo except for 5. Played every Destiny. And now I'm playing Marathon. So I think I would know about who and who who is and who is not the worst. Jesus. These robots aren't great either. This whole level's, like, the level's interesting, I'll be honest. But, like, oh my god. The enemies here, dude. Was that a health? No. It's a weird little freezer for bodies. Uh-huh. Okay. What? More stuff happening. Oh, it's putting up even more. That's nice. Nice. Now, am I going to have to, like, sprint there? Or... Did that also put up stuff in the rooms where I came from? Because otherwise, I'm going to have to traverse a room of lava on that many hit points. How do I even get back? Where do I go from here? Okay, let's wait here. Oh, boy. Because I see another hallway over here, and I can't get to it. Fantastic. Maybe I can get to it through here. Fuck. Okay. Can I... Hmm... Can I even go back? Oh. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? See, the issue is, is that I'm blind. And I even thought that there would be a little hallway or a culvert or something like that right there. Because I was like, well, I can see the hole. Like, you can see the hole in the wall from there. Boop. All right, fill me up. I'm making good pace. You know, it's a good time made. 
And now I can go freely through here. Uh, they have like kind of a braid or is that like a spinal cord? Jesus, God. Uh, let's see what's behind door number two. Ooh, more of the same. Okay. So you, yeah, you have to, like, get them to veer into a wall or something. Irritating. I have not seen a single of the Bugmen on these levels. You know, it's like all the enemies I like aren't even showing up anymore. And I guess that would be how you make the game, like, harder. But, like, man, I hate these fucking guys. Oh, you slut. You little slut. Uh, I like how they can shoot me out of the... Out of the... <laughs> Sorry, I keep trying to call it water. Because it can't be lava. I don't think that's possible. It's too cold for lava. But yeah, I like how they can, like, shoot me out of it and I stop taking lava damage for a second. Oh, yo, we getting some actual infighting. That's good. There's a mechanic in... Uh, I want to say it's in some versions of Doom 2 where uh, the weaker enemies will not shoot at higher up enemies. Like, um, there's a zombified, like, soldier and a zombified sergeant. And the sergeant will shoot at each other. The soldiers will shoot at each other. The sergeants will shoot at the soldiers. But the soldiers will not, uh, retaliate against sergeants. It's a mechanic where, like, they still have the hierarchy. However, I think ultimately... Uh, um... The devs were like, look, they're demons, they're chaotic evil. If they get in a fight, they're going to finish it, you know? So I don't think it's in every edition. Anyway. Transmission may not be complete. Your last mission was a success, but I have terrible news. Pragmata Nautical redefined offenders reported seeing the aliens moving a large cylindrical object. Uh, something in binary, that's probably translates to something interesting, is a seven. Mjolnir Rikon number 54. 54. That's six times nine. That's not anything. Uh, must stop them from exploding, igniting, slash blowing up. A94, Phi, F12. It. The Sfit face space, the Sfit full space computer or plant and X term. At 14, sword hyphen roll and dot transfer. Data transmission unsuccessful rerouting. Friend, i.e. transfer partial computer relay. Tycho, I don't know if that's Tycho or Tycho. Security error. Tie 93.2 dead. Layla transfer data transfer unsuccessful. Okay. I'm starting to lose my friends here. Well, that's a pretty good place to stop. Um, Ivan Alfred, this has been Marathon. Um, I believe this is episode five. As I say, we're making good pace. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, and yeah, bye.